limited time. I'd, yeah. I'd love to talk about the men, but just uh, to wrap up very quickly yes. with regards to the women uh, yeah. side of it, don't you think it will be good if mothers begin to see it as no matter what I'm going through, I will always tell my son, you cannot treat a woman the way your father is treating me. You cannot. That becomes a mantra for every woman mm -hmm. so that that son will grow up to understand that this is how not to do it mm -hmm. and this is how to do she it. She can do that, but she should also act it by saying, because I, I think you should not, I know that as a man you should not do this, I am not going to take this from your father. It's not just saying it, she should act it. Because we have situations where women will say that they still are in abusive relationships for because of the children. And the children will say, Mommy, you said you stay because of us. What did you do to help us? Our psyche got. So saying it is one, and also what action? But a woman that is not empowered, yeah. how is she going to be able to stand up and say, I'm not going to take this because yeah. your next meal yeah. or you know, taking care of the children? That's the mistake we make. We always think it's poor women. We always it's think it's poor women. Poor women. It's not just poor women. It's not. In fact, the poor woman can stand up for it. The poor woman will say, I'm on the floor. I fear not for the game. <laughs> it is we, really the so called educated, hopefully mobile, whatever status issue, you don't want to lose the jeep you drive because you say, you step out of here, I take the jeep, I freeze your account, I take the ATM card, you are not going to London again, and mm, we freeze. We stay on. So let's call it that opinion. Yes, empowerment very important, but it's not just about the poor, illiterate women. Yes, it's an issue. You are with the next no country. But there are also people who can take care of this meal, women who can take care of this meal, but still Allow because situation. I want to stay MRS because another woman should not come and rip where I've sown. Where I've sown. You okay. sit, use the wrong way. Okay, well, we've got just a couple of minutes. Uh, Joe, do you want to very quickly look at the issue of men abusing women? What is it in a man's constitution or the things, element within him that leads to a situation where a man decides, um, I, I love you, and then the next minute it's punches, and then come back and start crying and say, I'm really sorry, and the woman and accepts the it, and then the next day, same thing happens over and over again. What is wrong with those men? Men that have low self esteem, that suffer complex problem. Men that think that probably their wives are more empowered. Men who feel so insecure. Any man that raises his hand and beats the wife is not worth to be called a man. And I think that there comes a time in the life of any family where the man should realize that the wife should be given maximum respect. I'm also realizing that the children will always see what is happening. And then is um, uh, the family circle. It's extremely impossible for one to clap with one hand. I mean, to have a resounding applause, you have to clap with both hands. So it's a complimentary effort. It's not the man that should be the boss, that should think that, yes, it's my family. The man should carry the wife along in anything that he is going to do. And the man should also realize that if anything happens to the wife, that he will be in for it because of impunity that is on the rise. But the inability to bring those who perpetrate us out to book have embodied the perpetrators. So the man should learn that the woman must be respected at all times. And he needs the woman for a very strong and viable family. Let's quickly get to the laws. How effective are the laws against, you know, this kind of human rights? abuses the laws are there the laws are there but the issue of um, enforcement is an I mean just like every other law a law is a law it's just a piece of document on the shelf if it's not if teeth is not given to it right now I mean for a very long time until now as human rights activists we give also my organization we give practical support services by way of legal aid counseling the criminal code is quite clear on assault it does not take away assault in you. It does not say, except if it is assault by a husband, no, it is not a crime. Mm -mm. He says, assault is assault. Different types of assault. Assault, occasioning harm, uh, indecent assault, and all that. It does not say by husband or by girlfriend. It's there. It's the enforcement that is the problem. 
and also, like I said, the cultural baggage we are carrying, whereby each and every one of us, I mean, we are all married here, yeah? at the registry or in the church, the registry will tell you, don't let a third person hear what's happening in your marriage, you know? Where yeah, if the marriage works, you know, fine, everybody takes a if it fails, the woman did not work very hard at it and all that. So you see women shining, and also the other issue we talked about, about also um, financial empowerment, you know, and when people talk of education, I tell people there's a difference between being educated and being enlightened. They are educated women who are not enlightened. So people shy away from the law because of the criminal nature of it. Now, some states, like major states, like um, um, Cross River, Auburn, some states have, on the issue of domestic violence, they've come out with specific laws on that to, 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 to prevent, in that prevention, because like the domestic violence law of legal state, the victim can be, uh, 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 um, uh, the protection order can be ordered against the perpetrator. You understand? Just to try and save a life, you know? And it's a beautiful law because unlike the criminal code, it is quasi criminal, quasi civil. The first thing there is the protection order where a woman who has been abused can actually approach a court and say, this man is threatening my life, I'm about being killed, please, then it's okay. The whole essence is okay. Please stop such actions while things are going on to resolve it. But people, so some of these laws are there. We still need some other ones, fine. But what we should be committed to is even enforcement of the ones that are even on ground. There's no rape. There's no defilement. Yeah? But how come that implementation, implementation you know, the entire criminal justice system, starting from the police to the court, delay. Justice delayed is justice denied. Denied. Yes, denied. You know? the, whole, you know, the response, like I tell people, the primary victimization is the rape, is the incident itself. The secondary victimization is the blame, the shame, the ridicule, and the delay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that so uh, we're going to be winding down now, yeah. but while we are waiting okay. that the laws, you know, be implemented, mm -hmm. what would you say in terms of making sure that indeed violence against women is stopped quickly? Violence against women must be stopped because if such an act is perpetrated, that means there will be breakdown in the family order. And there is also the need for us to strengthen the institutions, the police, the judiciary, so that at the end we can have a system that works that will bring succor and justice to the victim. Thank you so much for coming on this. Yeah, we, need need quickly. Yes, sir, we need mass sensitization because uh, I mean, we really need to raise a lot of awareness. You can never underestimate or, 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 or play down on mass sensitization, targeting faith-based organizations, targeting schools, targeting, you know, because we believe in prevention rather than cure. A lot of TTI women is dead now. There was no cure for her. So we need to work towards preventing as much as possible and also bringing to book, to book the perpetrators to send a strong message out there that violence against women does not pay. pay. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. I uh, will be speaking with the executive director Project Alert on violence against women. This is just Sven F. R. Chukuma. Thank you so Thank much you for coming. Much. And of course we have the president women arise, Joe Oke Udumaki. Thank yeah. you both for coming Thank on this morning. And we just take another break and um, sunrise will be back. <laughs>